Hi everybody, it's Susan Phelps. And Judy Atari. And Judy Atari is our North Manatee County real estate expert for new home communities and she's found another one and you're not going to believe, will they? They're no, not believe there's some it. good stuff. There's good some stuff. good stuff here. So stick around and we'll be right back. Oh, subscribe, like, and comment. We love to answer your comments. Yes. I wake up in the morning sometimes and there's a comment from somebody that's been watching videos at 3.45 a.m. <laughs> Whatever, we always answer. Yep. So we'll be right back. Okay, so where are we, Judy? We are in a Pulte community mm -hmm. called Magnolia Ranch, and we're in the heart of Parrish, Florida, in North Manatee County. We're on Upper Manatee River Road, which is really convenient. I had no idea. Yep, That's why convenient. I have you. Yep, <laughs> and it's a beautiful area. Coming and going, you'll drive by some beautiful little ranches, and it's, it fits right in with the area. Well, and I noticed that when I turned off, um, instead of going to Fort Hammer, I turn right and I pass several small communities that have been here for a while. Yes. It's like they're well established. Yes. And then there's still some uh, sort of a slow, slower rural feel to the area. So that might really appeal to some of our customers out there. We're really convenient. Super convenient. Yep. To north and to south. Ten minutes to the interstate. And then, as Judy always says, up, yep, across. Yep, yep. Tampa, St. Pete, Sarasota, we're in the heart of it all, and it's a, it's a fun place to be. Yeah. And it's kind of so. quiet out here. It's nice. Yeah, it Your evenings quiet. will be nice and have that country feel. It is quiet, and this neighborhood is going to build out pretty fast because there's 72 unique, intimate, and, you know, what was right. the other word that our sales rep used? Intimate, exclusive. 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 Yes. So there's some other great things about this community. We're going to save some of it for yes. later, but yep. we will tell you for people that are being disappointed by builders that don't have the option of building a pool as the home has been built, that's not happening here. Yep. You can still do They're doing the pools along with the homes. The home sites are the same. Mm -hmm. Um, 50 feet home yep, site. Yep, 50, 50 by 125 average. And, um, and every home site can accommodate a pool, which is not the case in other communities. Right, and there's six floor plans. Pick whatever you want, goes on yeah. that lot. Yeah. Um, and you can have fencing. Yes. With every lot. Yep, every lot can be fenced. Different types of fencing depending on where you are in the community. So we're gonna drop in a uh, site map to show you that there are going to be some really nice offerings with the lots. Yep, yep. Waterside um, or not preserved. There's actually two bodies of water in this, in this uh, site plan. Yep. So yep. check that out. And we'll also then include that in the description below. So there's two models here. Yep. And we're gonna Check one out that Check we've one out. not yes. been able to yes. find yep. anywhere, yep. which is the Whitestone? Yeah, I believe so, yes. Because we've we've covered the Mystique. They have a model that for the Mystique, which is at several other Pulte communities and Del Webb communities. Right. Um, it's a super popular model. It, it, it belongs out here. Um, but we're going to show you something you haven't seen yet. Kayla, is it the Whitestone? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> My brain still works this early <laughs> in the morning. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to take that tour now. So don't go away. So we're out here at Magnolia Ranch and we're going to tour the Whitestone, which is four to five bedrooms, two and a half to four bathrooms, a flex space, two car garage, and it's 2894 square feet. There's all kinds of options here. So we're going to go on in. Uh, side note, this model is so new, they're still completing it. So you're going to see what you see when your house first gets done or is in process of how they mark things and fix things. So we'll, we'll point those things out and you'll get a true new building experience. 
So we're entering the Whitestone by Pulte at Magnolia Ranch. And um, one thing that took us right away was the great high ceilings. These are standard ceiling heights of nine foot four. Um, you get a upgrade option of this eight foot front door. So off the beginning is our flex space. This could also be optioned out as a bedroom. It's a nice big space. It'd be a fun movie room. As we mentioned, you're gonna get a kind of a, a, a sneak peek of what it looks like when you first walk through your home um, before it's completely finished. So all these little blue tape marks and little paint fixes, that's what happens. They go through, um, flooring comes in, different things come in, it might be bumped or scratched, and then they'll come back and fix it all for you. So that's what this is. So in the, off the foyer past the flex room is a pretty large half bath. A nice front closet. We call it a raincoat closet. <laughs> Off to the side is the entrance to your garage. It's a two car garage. And then a really large, you have to come in and look around, really large utility room. Oh, I didn't see the washer and dryer. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. It so you've got the, I believe the sink would be optional. You could also put a hanging rack here. So you can do a lot of good stuff. It's also a great spot for pet beds, pet food storage, cat litter boxes, things like that. Oh, sure. So we're in the, the great room area, and here we have nice tall cabinets. I believe that's one of these upgrades. Built-in space for this, the refrigerator. A really nice little pantry area. And the nice thing with a lot of these homes is the corner ones. You can kind of walk in and you're not bumping elbows trying to get into a flat closet. A nice wide counter area, um, built-in electric range, oven, and yet to be installed microwave. Again, this is the new building process, so we're waiting on the microwave. And then we wanted to be sure to show you this nice wide island with built-in sink. Um, again, it's gonna be your social hub of your house when you have friends or family over, or even if you have kids to line up and be functional. Over here is our dining room and our living room area. So they've done some nice little details with the um, tray ceiling in the family room, the detail on the wall, all these things are options. When you do a tray ceiling in the main area, it'll actually go up, uh, I think a whole foot she mentioned, so that's pretty cool. So we wanted to be sure to show you this beautiful pool area. Um, the feature that we are in absolutely love with is when they have pocketed doors. So in the beautiful winter months, which we're suffering through right now, it's gonna be a high in the mid 70s and sunny. You can really enjoy this space. So, so um, one of the few builders around our area that is still able to include a pool um, in your building process is, is, is this neighborhood. And um, it would include the pavers, like here is a built up wall, the spa. This is your security fence um, for yeah, a lot of children. Don't know what this is. Yep. So this is a is a fencing um, that will help you keep kids, toddlers, dogs out of it. It is a requirement. Um, it's a code that you have to have the holes drilled or some type of barrier. Um, and most homes also have an alarm if somebody opens the the lanai doors. Um, so that's what this is. But this comes down, folds up. It's light. It'll, it'll shrink to about this big and, and you can store it easy. So um, here we are. We're going to go check out the primary suite. And on our way is an awesome Florida feature, storage. So it's a huge under stair storage unit. So many years ago they never made the space usable, but it's handy. Very handy. That's where your Christmas tree goes. So we're going to go into the primary suite. And again, nice wide room, lots of light. They've done the tray ceiling here as well. Extra details. Again, the little paint marks are touch-up area, so you no, won't a, you won't see that. I used to walk through with the blue tape on my wrist, <coughs> and I could spot a bare spot in the wall, which happens. And by the time I was done, I had very little blue tape left in some situations. <laughs> no, that's not true, but people do appreciate the fact that they can inspect yep. 
have things taken care of before they close. Right. Yeah. Cool. So we're in the nasty, um, primary bath. Uh, dual vanity is a nice option. Um, again, a super shower. I love when they call them super showers. This thing's enormous. A nice easy step down and a walk in. And it's still walking. <laughs> and the controls are here so you don't get wet. And then a uh, uh, water, closet. water closet. And then the owner's suite walk-in closet. Many of the bedrooms in this house you'll see have uh, walk-in closets as well. We're about to head upstairs in the Whitestone model, and we wanted to point out one of the upgrades you have as an option is this pretty handrail with the black uh, iron spindles. You can also do white wood spindle, or it would be drywall. So this is the option. I love that option because it really opens up that space. So yep, I think it would feel a little narrow without it. All right, let's okay. go upstairs. Okay. So we're upstairs in the loft. It's quite a large room. I mentioned earlier movie room. I think this is the movie room. And it's beautiful. With the lower ceilings. Yeah, it's eight foot ceilings on the second floor. Yeah, it's very nice. Still feels roomy. Definitely. So up here, we have one of the bedrooms. I think this one's a little larger. So this has an ensuite full bath and a walk-in closet. We liked the way they used a little acrylic desk in here. We're thinking college student, tech professional that might need two desks. Very sleek. Yeah, it looked a little odd at first, but it works. <laughs> and then the walk-in closet's behind Susan. And now we're going to finish our tour with the remaining bedrooms. So come on over. They would share this full bath. It's quite long. You could easily put in a dull vanity here. Two sinks. And they've done some upgrades, like the nice touch of tile. Those are some big tiles. These are big tiles, too. yes. Those are really nice. Yep. And then we come here, we've got one of the other bedrooms with, and again, a walk-in closet. Kind of a smaller walk-in closet, but it's still a walk-in. And this door is your heating and cooling unit. And then here's another bedroom, done very sweetly. and then a larger walk-in closet for, for a secondary bedroom. So our favorite time has come. How do we get a house out here? Well, they're gonna release lots for to-be-built homes in February, and they're gonna be releasing some inventory homes. So people that need to get in sooner than the end of the year because their build time is nine to 11 months can uh, call us We'll get you on the email list so that you know right away that there's been a release and then it's first come first serve, which is so refreshing. Yes, yes, yes. No lotteries, no, it's not complicated. So we, we stay in touch with the reps here and they're just so nice. And we're going to keep in touch for you should you decide you need our help. Definitely. So one more thing before we go, we want to make sure we mention um, no CDD, no, no community CDD. development, which can be quite costly. And you have a monthly HOA of two thirty eight seventy seven, which is paid quarterly. And that also covers your lawn maintenance, your lawn cutting, irrigation, um, things like that in the front and backyards. So that's a handy little thing. The gate. The gated community. And they're going to have 18 um, street lights. Oh, nice. So to be well lit. <clears throat> this is going to be a really cute community yep. Yep. because uh, the same words, unique and intimate and what was the other word? Exclusive, exclusive. and quiet. Um, exclusive in a, point, in a point where there's not many of them, um, but it's still... It's in a lot of good budgets, so it's not exclusive to the point that you're priced out of it. Oh, that's definitely yeah. not what we mean. Yeah, no. Because this place yeah. is going to yeah. meet the budget needs of a yeah. lot of people. Yeah. One of the things to note is it is, um, there are no amenities, like there's no community pool yeah. um, with, the, with the idea that most of the homes will be building pools. So just to make that clear, that's why your HOA fees are really reasonable. And I pay more than that for my lawn maintenance 
just lawn cutting every year, not my irrigation and everything else, I mean every month. So it's a good value. Really? Yeah. You pay that much? We pay, we pay like a hundred. a big yard. Yeah. No, we pay, we pay about 200 something a month just for the mowing. Wow. Yeah. So. Put that on your checklist, people. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give us a like and comment. Yeah, email Ask us. us. Some questions, we'll get right back to you. Call us. We're here. Okay. Until the next one. Bye bye.